Hey, what's up, everyone? So you've probably been wondering where I've been for the last uh, month and a half or something. Well, I've been doing nothing because, as you can tell, it's April the 8th outside. There's still snow on the ground. So I'll tell you the story before I get into this video. So pretty much, so pretty much like mid-February, we got this big thaw, melted most of our snow, so we couldn't snowmobile anymore. So that was done, we just sat around for a little bit. It was pretty warm time, so all the way up to like March, like the middle of March, and it got cold again. We got snow on the ground, so yeah. April the 8th outside. We should be dirt biking right now, but no. Go for Dunes is open right now, so. Right, my back tire on. Right there. We'll be going there, but okay, I'll tell you a story. Get a new back tire on there. It's at the shop right now, because can't change those things. Too hard for me. But yeah, I also got a shorty on there, so it's looking pretty good. Next upgrade, so I'll probably be getting a factory fatty. And decals, maybe a new seat cover. Yeah. Alright, so here's a little pit bike right here. Brother's old bike, but just use a pit bike. It's up on Kijiji right now. Because we don't really need it. I'd like to keep it, but I don't know. But I got a new 85 SX. That's not here at the moment. So also another new bike here too. It's a Sierra 450X. 2011. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's aluminum frame. Uh, this pipe called the Brothers Racing Pipe. Two Brothers Racing Pipe. Sounds pretty cool, actually. And here's here's our bikes. We got our uh, dad's bike, my bike. Mom's new bike, my bike's inside. There's the fat bikes. I've never done any videos on them. I actually have, never mind. Never mountain biking, though. So yeah, we'll see the snow melts. Should be on this baby. I'll probably keep her for one more year and get a look at it brand new after this. So yeah, we'll do a little cool, cool start on it, but it's a little too cold outside today. It's like minus five. Don't like starting bikes in the cold, even though this would start for his kick. Just don't want it. It's a little road bike. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys my sleds now, see how they're doing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that my dad just bought a new trailer to carry the dirt bikes with stuff. It's 16 feet. So you can probably store six in there. So yeah, we'll be a lot, a lot of trips this year. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to go over what's on the bikes and stuff. I showed you what's on mine, but let's do it there. So yeah. So let's start with the newest bike of the collection. This has a... So two two brothers racing exhaust, the full system. So that's pretty cool. Has just little stuff like this, blue radiator hoses. Has black rims, which aren't stock. These come with silver, normally. So that's pretty cool. Black looks way better. I have my bike. Comes with well, brand new sprockets and chain. Pretty cool rental. I think the chain's rental too, yeah. It's pretty cool. It has Rook's connection, little radiator guards here. That's always neat and handy. And I think the engine's pretty stock. I don't know if it's been rebuilt or not. I'm guessing not, but I could be wrong. The guy that owned this before was a mechanic, but he never told us about rebuilding it, but yeah. It doesn't have too many kilometers on it. Hours. It's pretty good. And what else? That's about it on this bike. As you can tell, plastics are pretty much stock. They are. So yeah, then my dad bought a trail bike because, I don't know, he's not really into the motocross stuff. But yeah. So that's that. Let's go over to this bike. I've already showed you it, but I might as well show you again in case you forgot. So I'm running... Dunlop tires 
has XL rims on them. Those are stock. That's XL. Found out. Uh, so yeah, I run a Dunlop MX three S's on them because it's pretty standard around here. They soft tires are what you want. Got a FMF Shorty on it. That's the newest thing. Actually, all the tires would be. But and I got just the stock. Can get in the fatty, factory fatty. Got bark busters on here, which I might take off. I don't know. Got full, got full tape and bars. Nothing big. For the most part, it's stock in zone nine. So I'm surprised. It has a little kilometers on it. But only new plastic is this right here. The rest are stock. So yeah. So you know, someone took care of a bike if it's all stock. Okay, so for this bike, this bike's actually dead stock. It's pretty new, my brother just rode the crap out of it. He likes, I don't know, scratching plastic somehow. But, it's all stock I got this year, it was brand new. Brother rode it, like it has probably 40 hours on it now. The cue's on for some reason. Uh, so yeah, he outgrew this. So he put 40 hours on it, outgrew it, bought a new bike. This new bike is the 85SX, but don't have that in there, in here at the moment. As you can tell, tires are still, like, good and has 40, has 40 hours on it, so I don't know how that happened. Must be, like, hard tires, so, yeah. Okay, that's my brother's mountain bike back there. So, yeah. Okay, let's show you some of the mountain bikes uh, now. I'll go inside after and show you mine. So, this is a pretty nifty bike. It's full carbon fiber. Sprock shocks, Mar Monarch Plus. Front. Uh, I mean, that's the back. The front has. Uh, where is this? See? Has rock shocks, but I can't find where it tells us. I know it's not a pike, so I don't know. It might be a pike actually, but it's pretty good. Tubeless, of course. All bikes pretty much tubeless. Has a dropper post. So I'll tell you the actual bike, it's a Niner. I think it's a Niner Rip RDO. That's pretty cool. This is a this is all custom here. Ellsworth frame. Not carbon fiber, because it's a little bit older bike. So, this part is carbon fiber though. And it has Hope 4 hubs. It's pretty cool. Uh, strands. Wheel set. It's a Hope front and back, of course. It has Fox float. Fox float back. Fox. Where is it? Fox Racing Shocks. Okay, it doesn't tell me the front, but I think it might be a. Uh, actually, I don't know what it is, but the handlebars are carbon fiber. It's pretty neat. No dropper post as it's an older bike, but still the most expensive bike in here. So that's pretty cool. And pretty sure that's it. I'll show you inside now. So here's my mountain bike. It's a Diamondback Mission 1. It has Fox 34s on it, performance. It's a pretty good fork. I took it on one ride already. It's pretty good, I gotta admit. A lot of travel. And for aggressive riders or slash enduro. The back is a Fox DPS float. So that's pretty good. It's a brand new bike. Everything's, as you can tell, it's brand new on it, besides the pedals. That's all off my old bike. So, for the brakes, we got Tram. Pretty good, pretty good. For the... Most of the stuff on here is uh, made by Diamondback. Besides, we got like WP, WTP on it. The... Handlebars are Diamondback. But the whole uh, crank is phrase face. Everything on it 
is race face down here. That's pretty cool. It's a Shram derailleur though. Yeah, it works, it works pretty good. I've took one rod. Love it. So yeah. So as you can tell, there isn't that much snow on the ground. We kind of got some snow over a couple past days. Before this, there was barely any snow on the ground. Just a little bit. But you can tell us, even the sun's melting and it's minus five outside. So that's pretty good. So, sleds are doing good. Nothing wrong with them. You have a little cover made here. So, my sled's in there. It's looking pretty good. Nothing wrong with it. Did nothing to it, so that's good. My dad's sled. It's doing good. Nothing changed with it. Ran good the whole season. My, both brand new. This has a full like engine rebuild, brand new engine. Mine has a new top end. So that last couple, couple more thousand kilometers to replace it again. So here's the old dump truck I wanted to sell and buy pit bike with. Look, okay, Kalex 110, but I don't know. We're still selling in the spring, but pit bike plans are probably over. Plus, I end up on my race bike. Some of you didn't know. I want to start racing this year, hopefully. If not this year, next year. Yeah. I'll be going to the track a lot more this year, too. RJ's Motor Park, Gopher. Yeah. So, yeah. She's. She runs. She just needs some. Uh, Gas in her and a battery. She's pretty mint. So yeah, that's that. 